Devora talking about meditation today and I'm really not going to bore you, I swear. All right. Probably your favorite celebrities meditate. Like every good athlete does, Derek Jeter, Michael Jordan, I mean, you name it, they're on the record, they're meditating, celebrities. Um, who did I just read about? Gal Gadot with, um, she's like, if I hadn't meditated, I could not have gone through Wonder Woman. Um, so but people are meditating, right? Successful people are meditating. And I think that some people hear meditation and they're like, I cannot sit there and listen to my breathing or focus on my breathing for like 10 minutes. Like that is like my personal definition of hell. Um, here's what I would tell you. It's worth you getting. Research is so crazy. It helps with everything from just helping you feel just a better sense of well-being to helping you study better, to helping you have better relationships, um, to helping decrease anxiety, depression, whatever, you name it, you can Google it. It's so, it's just so, there's so much stuff. Um, here's a couple things I want to tell you. If the idea of sitting with your own breathing, let's say, makes you miserable, you don't have to meditate that way. We can do a really active form of meditation, which I'm going to show you today. Second thing is check out my other videos because I've got some great videos on things like EFT tapping um, and something called rest, which really decrease like the triggers and the stress from external stuff. So like the fact that your mom just yelled at you or you have like this presentation in AP Lang tomorrow and you're freaking out about it, right? If you can remove your outside stress and not feel so triggered, it's a lot easier to like sit with your own stuff and be quiet and really like just kind of deepen in to yourself. Otherwise, it's like a really good story that I tell is actually when I was in training to teach meditation, um, my meditation teacher got into a car accident on the way to meditation class and she shows up and she's like, guys, she's really shaken up. And she's like, you guys, you know, I can't, I'm really sorry. I don't think I can lead class today. And I've had some people, by the way, judge her for that and think that that meant um, that she wasn't a good meditation teacher. And I'm kind of like, are you kidding me? Like, I hope nobody ever rear ends you on the way to meditation class. Anyway, but that's not the point. The point was she was shaken up, right? And in like a fight or flight response. So like she really couldn't settle in. Um, and just be present where she was at that moment, right? No judgment there. Well, a lot of us are in that fight or flight a lot, especially if you're like got something going on, like, you know, with your friend group and there's some like drama or something or, um, you know, social stress or like academic stuff, like the school stuff is just like just so stressful. Of course, it's hard to settle down. So don't get like too upset at yourself for not being able to do it. I would say focus on those other tools first, get those down so that you can get yourself in a calmer state with all that like external kind of crap that's happening. And at that point, it's easier to meditate. I promise. Just trust me. So let's say you've got those tools and you want to do a quick meditation. Let me show you something that I think is my favorite. First of all, it's an active form of meditation because it's like a healing clearing kind of thing, not like a, oh, Focus on your breathing. Focus more on your breathing. It's not that, okay? This is a body scan meditation. What's nice about it is that we tend to really disconnect from our bodies so much of the time because we're like running and doing stuff and running around and we're really, really busy and our bodies are sending us signs all the time of what we need to do, you know, whether it's like hungry or, okay, totally TMI, but I don't know if you've ever had this where like you're really edgy and then you realize like you actually really need to pee. Maybe that's just me. But you know what I mean? Like you're not even focusing on that and your body's like, hey, pay attention to me. And you're so busy. You're like, I just got to get this email done. What? Well, you guys don't email anymore. Okay. My generation is emailing at work. You're probably like, oh my God, I just have to like answer the Snapchat. Like, right. Um, okay. Anyway, point is, it's a great time to tune into our bodies, especially for somebody who uses your body, which is like everybody. But I was specifically thinking athletes or dancers or whatever, okay? But for everybody, this is great. So, you ready? Okay. So settle somewhere comfortable. You could be lying down. 
Oh, you could be sitting in a chair, okay? Um, you could put your hands wherever, cross them over my chest, like over my heart, and get some like heart coherence going. So I just kind of focus on my, my heartbeat a little bit. You're gonna just take some deep breaths. So deep breath in and out and in and out. And just notice the surface that you're on. So if you're lying down, maybe you'll notice your bed or the couch. If you're on a chair, notice where your butt is resting against the chair. And just notice how supported you are. Like that surface is holding you right now. So as you breathe, just feel yourself just really, really sinking into that surface. With every breath, you're sinking more deeply into the surface that you're on. Breathe in, out, and in. out and you're just sinking more and more deeply into that surface and now we're just going to focus on our bodies so imagining this white light coming down from the top of your head and it goes down to the bottom of our feet and it's going to start by clearing everything out from the bottom of your feet. So taking a minute to just focus on the bottoms of your feet and noticing if there's any tension there. So just notice if it's tense or tight and imagining this white light just really loosening and relaxing the bottoms of your feet. Just breathing into that space. And then moving up to your legs. So really noticing, you know, how your knee is doing, how your thigh is doing. Looking for any kind of tension or maybe achiness. And imagine your, your legs just loose and limp and relaxed. And imagine this light just clearing them all out. And if you want to turn this into a little gratitude meditation, you can take a second or longer to just thank your legs for what they've been doing for you today. All right, and then moving up to pelvic area and your butt and just noticing any tension you're holding it's amazing how much tension we hold in our butts. So just noticing any tension in these areas and imagining this white light just coming and clearing it all out. And just imagine being loose and relaxed. And again, just settling into your surface Breathing into the space. Okay, moving to our backs. 
So we're really taking time to notice any tension we're holding in our back, any kind of tightness or heaviness. You might want to do a little wiggle. Um, and just noticing how that's feeling. And then imagining that beautiful white light just slowly filling up your back and opening and clearing out all the space. And just imagining yourself loose and open and relaxed. All right. And then moving around, let's do stomach. So just taking a second to feel into your stomach and how it's feeling today. And then imagining this white light coming in, just clearing it out, just loosening your stomach, noticing if you've been kind of sucking it in. Just let it out, let it all out, and imagine that stomach just loose and relaxed. Just breathe into that space. And again, if you want to turn this into a gratitude time, just thanking your stomach for what it's done for you today. Like maybe digesting your breakfast or whatever. All right, and then moving to the lungs. So just noticing as you breathe in, and out and in and out and noticing how your lungs are filling and deflating and filling and deflating and how cool you don't even have to ask you just do it Noticing if there's any blocks, any place you feel like your breath is not fully coming in or going out. And then imagining this light coming in and just clearing it all out. Just breathing deeply. And then moving to heart. And noticing how your heart's feeling and if it feels open and relaxed or if it's achy or feels a little armored. You know, and just imagining this light clearing out your heart space opening it up, letting it relax. And again, if you want a gratitude moment, just taking a minute to be grateful for your heart. And um, it's just beating, man. You don't want to do anything about it. You just show up and it just beats. All right, and then moving to neck and throat. So a lot of us hold a lot of tension here. So just taking a minute. And if you didn't include, if you didn't include shoulders in your back part of your meditation, get your shoulders in here too. So just taking a minute to notice where you're holding tension in your shoulders, in your neck. Yeah. 
And then imagining that white light just coming down, and just clearing it out, and just really opening that space. A lot of us have stuff here, especially if there are things that we are not saying that need to be said, stuff that we're holding back on. Um, stuff that's not safe to say. So just sitting with this whole throat neck space and just, you know, being present with what's there. And then imagining this light, just clearing it out and opening this space up. And now let's get to our jaw. We hold a lot of stuff in our jaw too. So noticing where your jaw is tight and where it just feels like just this hardness or a block or anything in our jaws. And again, imagining that light kind of clearing it out. And now moving to our face. So just noticing any tension in our face at all. Push it around our eyes, maybe in our cheeks. Just imagining that light like clearing up all the tension so that our faces are loose and relaxed. And then just, I always get to my head, like actually in your brain space, in your head space, noticing if you've got a headache or any kind of place where your brain feels like heavy or blocked and just imagining, just feeling into that space. Breathing into that space. And then imagine that light just clearing it out. All right. And then imagine that light leave to the top of your head and surround your body. And again, settle into the surface that you're on. We're going to take just three deep grounding breaths. And with each breath, just grind, ground down into the surface. Whether it's your bed or your chair, or your couch or your whatever, your carpet. So one breath. And notice how supported you are right now by the surface. We'll take another. One last breath. And now from this place of feeling cleared out and appreciative and supported, slowly with whatever kind of wiggle feels good or pace feels good, just kind of shake it out and you can slowly open your eyes. And thank you for joining me. All right. Namaste.